is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Many people talk about how we now live in an Orwellian world where laws that pollute the skies are called the Clear Skies Initiative and awe-inspiringly greedy dickholes are called job creators and laws allowing hydraulic fracking inside wildlife refuges are called energy initiatives and laws that say you should punch every dark-skinned person in the throat while screaming, Tell Al-Qaeda that's for knocking down our towers, motherfucker, are called the Patriot Act. We now live in that world. We live in a place that would make Orwell rub sulfuric acid in his eyes and dig at his ears with a spoon. But I actually think we've moved past that into something worse, into something that is not just bad things with good titles. We've moved into actually creating Orwellian organizations, doing meaningless Orwellian projects with Orwellian names on the taxpayer dollar. If that doesn't leave your head spinning like Silvio Berlusconi with underage girls standing on three sides of him, then I don't know what will. For example, in his book Vulture's Picnic, Greg Palace details the creation of an organization called America's Wetland Foundation. Now anything with a name that rosy must have some dead hookers in the basement. That's just how it works. I'm surprised they didn't name it My Little Pony, God Bless America Jesus. Anyway, America's Wetland Foundation was actually receiving a third of a billion taxpayer dollars to pile giant mounds of sand and dirt in the Mississippi Delta to quote-unquote catch BP's spilt oil. Sounds like a great plan. If only anyone thought it would work. It was actually slated to catch only a thousand barrels of oil. How much oil was lost by BP? I'm glad you asked. 210 million barrels. Who was receiving the money to create the dirt pile? The Shaw Group. Who was one of Governor Bobby Jindal's biggest supporters? The fucking Shaw Group. You know who else funded America's wetland? The oil companies. So you've got a foundation with a bullshit name building a bullshit pile of bullshit funded by a governor feeding the press bullshit and ultimately funneling a third of a billion dollars into the pockets of an asshole construction company while making it appear as if Jindal and oil companies are fighting to protect the fucking wetlands. Basically, piles of bullshit come out of the assholes and billions of dollars are pushed back into the assholes. And as most of us know, bullshit does not catch oil or save wetlands or protect the environment. It just makes everything stinky. That's all. And this is just one small example of the same process happening around the country and the world. Did you ever think we'd be at a point so corrupt, so swallowed by swindle, that fraudulent foundations are actually paid to create meaningless piles of sand to pretend to protect the wetlands they've already wasted? Orwell would be so dizzy he'd vomit and pass out. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Check out my new project at Twitter.com slash News Decoder, where we take real headlines from the news and decode them into what they really mean. Also, I'll be taping a new comedy album, February 18th at the Bowery Poetry Club in New York. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.